God gave the rings of shining forth as a sign of a covenant. Twenty-one centuries from the time of Abraham and Sarah. Thirteen centuries after Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt. Eleven hundred years from the time of Ruth and the judges. One thousand years from the anointing of David as king. In the sixty-fifth week, according to the prophecy of Daniel, in the 194th Olympiad, the 752nd year from the foundation of the city of Rome, the 42nd year of the reign of Octavius Octavian Augusta, the whole world being at peace. Jesus Christ, eternal God and Son of the eternal Father, desiring to sanctify the world by his most merciful coming, being conceived by the Holy Spirit, and nine months having passed since his conception, was born in Bethlehem of Judea of the Virgin Mary. Today is the mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ, According to the word. And it's also number 81. So come, all ye fish. Number 81. <laughs> Forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flame. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They named him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. <coughs> the word of the Lord. Deliver us from all lawlessness 
and the plans for himself, a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord.
But I remember as a kid, I can still remember uh, 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 sleeping, if you will, or kind of dozing on my uh, on my father and my mother's shoulder. They're carrying me. And I remember I was wearing my little uh, footy pajamas to, to mass, and uh, that's how they would drag all the kids, and we'd all be there and, and ha uh, have to sleep or fully asleep. And that's how we got through uh, Christmas uh, um, morning, not even Christmas. So, but in celebrating this day, celebrating the incarnation of Christ, we celebrate the fact that God has taken flesh, that God in the womb of the Virgin Mary and then on in the nativity, uh, he, he, he appeared to us at, at, in the flesh, God in the flesh. And so uh, as a child of Jesus, the body of Jesus is carried by Mary in her womb, and then she carries him, she wraps him in swaddling clothes, I'm sure Joseph held him and carried him as well. I'm sure everybody wanted to hold the baby, right? Everybody wants to hold the baby. We had a baby here for the 4 o'clock liturgy. It was our uh, Christmas pageant, and a uh, pretty chubby baby, too. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know. Was Jesus chubby as a baby? Probably. At a certain point? We don't know. You know, he didn't, you know, he wasn't born with a little beard and everything. You know? <laughs> so, so, the fact is, though, and this is this is, you know, this, that's the Christmas miracle. You know. But the reality is that that taking flesh uh, uh, of God in, in, in the stable, in, in uh, Bethlehem, make, means nothing to us if, in fact, he uh, doesn't uh, die uh, on the cross and rise from the dead. Because then he becomes one with us. After he sends to the Father and he sends his spirit to us, then he becomes present to us uh, in the Eucharist. And, and, and think about that. Mary held the body of Jesus for the very first time. You have the privilege of holding the body of Jesus every single time you come to Mass. For your entire life, you get to hold the body of Christ. And I don't know that we think about that when we come up for Eucharist. I'd like you to think about that. I'd like you to receive that body of Christ with the same reverence and the same care that you would hold the baby. You know, when the baby is newborn, you say, let me hold it. And, you know, you see people do that in the hospital rooms and so forth. And the first time they get a chance to hold the baby, they cradle that child so carefully. You know? And I think that we uh, become thoughtless sometimes about what it is we're actually doing when we receive Eucharist. We're holding the body of Jesus. So take care and recognize it in the Eucharist your Lord and your Savior, the child Jesus who comes today in the flesh. Proclamation or the recitation of our creed uh, during the Christmas season. It is practice that during the uh, words uh, of the incarnation, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man, we all genuflect during that time. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, he the heart of the Virgin Mary, and he came down. For our sin he suffered death and despair, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We have now turned to the Lord and offer our prayers and intercession. I need a, uh, uh, there's a young person, a child who'd like to assist with the lighting of the Christmas tree. You want to volunteer? Raise your hand. Stand here and help me light the tree. Somebody wants to light the tree. It's easy. <laughs> Believe me, it's not hard. Okay, we're not going to light the tree then. <laughs> Never mind. Come on. It's not hard. Together now, I'll offer our prayer of intercession. That Pope Benedict and all church leaders may steadfastly continue to announce the good news to the world, we pray. Lord. Lord. That the peace of Christmas may fill the hearts of all people and lead the world to lasting peace, we pray. Lord. That the joys of Christmas may remain in our hearts, our minds, and in our families throughout the coming year, we pray. Lord. That all who serve in the military throughout the world may return safely to their families, we pray. Lord. That all those who are sick may experience comfort and healing through God's grace and the care we show them, especially those remembered in our parish bulletin, we pray. Lord. Lord. That those who have died in Christ may be with him forever in heaven, especially David Ashdown, Russell Ricavono, and those remembered in our parish bulletin, we pray. Lord, For all special intentions as written in the Book of Remembrance, we pray. Lord, and for our own intentions in the silence of our hearts, we pray. Lord our God, we praise you for the light of creation, the sun, the moon, and the stars of night. We praise you for the light of Israel, the law, the prophets, the wisdom of the scriptures. We praise you for Jesus Christ, your Son, Emmanuel, God with us, the Prince of Peace, who fills us with the wonder of your love. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we illumine this tree. May the light and cheer it gives be a sign of the joy that fills our hearts. May all who be light in this tree come to the knowledge and joy of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's thank our tree lighters. <laughs> we see it now. We see the preparation of the law.